Yo guys, what's up? Welcome back to an all new video. So today, uh, we're gonna build one of these chairs. Oh yeah, and shout out to Hart Bothwell, he makes music. Uh, yeah, so, let's go. Okay guys, here's all the stuff you're gonna need. Yeah, take a good look. You're also gonna need some 1x6s, 2x6s, and some 2x4s. Uh, the exact amounts are available in the plans, so yeah, go check those out. First, we have to create one of these leg pieces. So what you want to do first is measure 36 inches down your board. And make a mark there. Now you can use your speed square to transfer that mark all the way down your board. And then what you want to do is measure up three and a half inches and then measure over six inches and then use a straight edge to transfer that mark all the way down. There, now you have your bevel. On the other side, what you want to do is uh, make straight mark, then measure over one and three quarters of an inch. But I've already done that, and you don't even have to like cut straight first. You can just do the same cut and then use it on the same board like on here. So now we're going to cut this out. Now with everything clamped down, remember to get on your safety and protection stuff, and then you can begin your first cut. Now with your board repositioned and reclamped, you can cut off the little corner. Now with the two legs cut, we can move on to our next step. Now we need a two foot long two by four. Well actually, we need two two foot long two by While you have your 2x4 still out, you can make one last cut that is 35 inches long. Okay, now what you want to do is, on your 2 foot 2x4s, pick a side that you want to be the bottom and then make a mark 14 inches from that. Now just transfer it all around the 2x4. That's off a little bit, but it's okay. And now you want to lay your back leg pieces out like this. And now line up the 14 inch mark with the top of this 2 by of the 2 by 6. Then so this is going to be the bottom right here. Okay. And this is going to be the top here. So do that for both of them. Now we can drill out the holes. So I'm just going to make a little divot and then I can drill it out later. This is a 964th spit, by the way. Now we can add a countersinks to the holes, but this is optional, of course. Now get your two and a half inch long screws ready and get your glue. Now we can apply some wood glue to the area that we're gonna be gluing up. Then you can just use your finger to spread it around 
I'm using outdoor uh, waterproof glue, also known as tight bond three wood glue. So I'll just spread it around to about uh, three and a half inches wide. Now you want to check and make sure that there aren't any like burrs or any stuff on here. You can use a chisel or you can just use your finger to get it off. Now we'll uh, put it down, get it all lined up. Oh, there's a hornet. Oh, go away! Now we'll take our drill and put in some screws. Okay, and that is pretty solid. Ka chunk. Now I can do the other one. Now, you have to make sure that you put this together right because you don't want two pieces that look exactly the same. Otherwise, you're going to have the front support thing on the wrong side and that's no fun. So, go get your other one and like use it as a reference. So this one is like this. Okay, this is very hard to do. So, the other one should be like this. Okay, now we have it all ready to go. We can get rid of this! So yeah, same procedure, put on the glue and then screw it down. Okay, now you're done with these. Okay, now we need two feet of some standard deck flooring or one by six. And you're going to need uh, two more of these. Now if you're using 1x6, you're going to want to add a bevel to one of the two foot long pieces of 1x6. You won't need to do this if you're using standard deck flooring. And now a time saving tip, you can unclamp your uh, pieces of wood and stack them all up. And then you can drill the holes all at the same time. Now I can add counter sinks. Now make sure the first board you install has the bevel and make sure that it's facing the front. You also want to make sure that everything's nice and square. I recommend using the two and a half inch long screws for this just because it helps keep everything nice and sturdy. Now I can put on the other side. You might want to clamp it together just so that it doesn't fall down. Try and get it lined up to the best of your ability. And then once you think it's lined up, what you want to do is measure from here to here. Make sure, you know, from the outside to the outside, make sure that is two feet. Otherwise, it's not square. Okay, and then you want to space all the other slats a half an inch apart. Okay, now we can set this aside and work on the back brace thingamajig. Okay, so now we need 30 inches of some standard deck flooring. I found a 30 inch scrap uh, in the basement. It's kind of soggy, so I'm letting it sit outside in the sun. And then we're going to cut another piece out of this nice new piece.
<laughs> okay, so what you're gonna want to do is uh, lay this stuff out like this. So now we can begin assembly. So um, the first edge can be like flush with the other edge, um, but the, the other one, it doesn't matter. Um, it just matters that the inside is two feet. So we'll just screw this. And for this, we're going to be using two inch long screws. So now we can apply some glue and make sure it gets spread out real good. Okay, now onto the more complicated part. So what you got to do is make sure that this is like two feet on the inside. Okay. You might want to move your saw horses out a little bit. Oh, oh, oh god. Oh, there that goes. Same deal here. Use the uh, pilot holes and screws and stuff. Okay, now what you want to do is measure back two inches from the front of uh, the handles. Um, yeah. Very serious. And then you want to make a mark uh, 3.5 inches from that mark. And then just uh, put two dots sort of like in there. Uh, and this is where you're going to put them screws. Now we can drill out the screw holes. So now what you're going to want to do is pick this thing up and then uh, move it over to the chair. And then you're probably going to want a helper to help you for this part, to hold it. So, yeah. Then move it until that mark is like roughly level with the front of the 2x4. And now you can drive in your 2.5 inch long screws, or I'm going to be using 3.5 inch long screws just because I had them. You're going right into a knot. Yeah. Did it crack? Yeah. No, but I'm hearing it. Okay, guys. So, uh, as you can see, I forgot to bevel these edges, um, which is going to make it uncomfortable on your arm. So, uh, before you put the back on, remember to bevel it. Okay, now you can start putting your back pieces on. Oh wait, you didn't make them, so you gotta make some uh, four 36 inch long pieces of standard deck flooring, or uh, one by six. Now we're gonna drill out the holes. So just lay down the board, put it in, and then drill. Now you want to drill holes on the bottom too. Now you can add a countersink. Okay, now I can start installing them. Okay, so I'm gonna make sure it's nice and straight and then put in them screws. Okay, now we're going to use the one and a quarter inch screws to attach the bottom on. Actually, let's use the two inch screws just for good luck. Okay, there you go. 
picture is all complete, but there's one more thing you gotta do. You gotta clean up this huge ass mess here. Yeah. This huge ass wet mess. Ugh. Okay guys, thanks for watching. Remember to like and subscribe. Yay! Oh wait, and um, you might be wondering, uh, how sturdy is this chair? Well, let's find out.